So question 18 from the 2015 advanced hire. The final question just looks like differential equations here. Hey, there's a differential equation that describes the rate at which water drips out the hole in a tank. Well, very good. There you go. And honours go to Torricelli. Torricelli's law. Right, where are we? A. For a cylindrical tank with constant cross-sectional area A, show the rate of change of the height of the water. So that means you're looking for dH by dt. It's given by this expression. Now, we don't have a formula that connects H and T, but we do have one for a cylinder that connects V and H. So we have V equals AH. Well, in fact, that belongs to any prism. Area base times height. So dV by dH would be A. And that's what we can use. I want dH by dT, but I could get dH by dV and multiply it by dV by, oops, dT. So dH by dV is simply 1 over A. And dV by dT we had right at the beginning, thanks to Torricelli. I just like saying that. So we've got this expression. So dH by dt equals negative k over a root h. B. Then it gives us some values here. It says, initially when the height of the water is 144, the rate at which the height is changing is negative 0.3 centimetres per hour. So, take a note of that. dH by dt is negative 0.3 when h is 144. That means we could pop it into this and find a value for k. So popping it into it, we'll call that 1. So if we put that in 1, we'll have dH by dt is negative 0.3. And that will equal negative k over a root 144 very conveniently. So k, take the k out, negatives go, k would equal, a goes across, we've got 0 0.3, no room there, I'll put it over here, over 12. Well, 3 into 12 goes 4, so that's 1 over 40. So that means I've got k equals a upon 40. So we could pop that back into here. So number 1 now reads, dh by dt is negative of, and k is a upon 40, I'll just put times 1 over a, and that'll be root h. So we have dh by dt would be negative 1 40th of root h. Just shove that up there. And then we can split that. dh over root h, just separate the variables, will be negative 1 40th of dt. And that's ready to integrate to get an expression for h in terms of t. So on this side, we've got power negative a half will go up to power a half, so that'll be the square root of h. Divide by that half, reciprocal, is times 2. And this is simply 1 40th of t, but plus some c. We need another number. We need something to find that c. And that's hidden inside that little sentence. Initially. It says, initially the height of the water is 144, and the rate is that. So there's a pair. Initially, when t equals 0, h equals 144. So popping that in, we've got 2 root 144, and if t is 0, that's 0 plus c. So that's 12 times 2 is 24, so that means that c is 24. Now we've got this back to this equation then. 2 root h is negative a 40th of t plus 24. Almost there. Take that 2 across and half these numbers. Root h equals, I think I'll put that to the front though, 12 minus, now when I half that, that's going to go to an 80th of t. And then finally, square both sides, 12 minus an 80th of t squared. See, how many days will it take for the tank to empty? Well, that's two marks, unless I'm missing something. Is that not just going to be, the tank will be empty either when the volume is zero or when the height of the water in it is zero. 
So it's that not just going to be the same as saying empty means that h is 0. So I'm just going to use that equation. So that means that 12 minus 1 upon 80t squared equals 0. Meaning that this part must be 0. So 12 minus an 80th of t is equal to 0. So t is equal to, take that over, will be 12 times 80. But t is in hours. That's the number of hours. And the question said, just a minute, how many days? So that means t will be 12 times 80 divided by 24. Because there's 24 hours in a day. That's days now. That's a wee bit of cancelling. That goes 2, that goes 4, 40 days. That's a very biblical tank, that one. Given that the tank has a radius of 20 centimetres, so that'll be something to do with that cross-sectional area A then, find the rate at which the water was being delivered to the vegetation at the end of the fourth day. The rates, I'm back to dv by dt. So I had this, I had dv by dt was negative k, root h, but we had that k was equal to a upon 40. So that was a over 40, because I remember that, root h. In order to find this, I'll need a and I'll need h. Well, we've got a formula to work out h at any given time, and a is obviously fixed, and it told you it's got a radius of 20. So I know what a is. So a is going to be pi r squared, and r was 20, so that will be 400 pi. And what's h going to be? It's going to be 12 minus an 80th, of, now t is, I've already forgotten, end of the fourth day. So there's 24 hours in a day. You come in handy again. So it's times 4 times 24. A wee bit of cancelling. So it's, that, goes, that goes in 20. 24 over 20, both divided by 4, that's 6 over 5. 12 minus 6 fifths. 12, that's 60 minus 6 is 54 fifths. So that will be 54 upon 5 squared. I know you're saying, use your calculator. Use your calculator. So back to here, we've got all the information you need. dv by dt will be negative. Now a was 400 pi. That goes over 40. And handily, that's the root of h. So that's just the 54 upon 5. Then that goes in 10. 5 to 10 goes 2, 2 times that's 108, so what we've got is negative 108 pi centimetres cubed per hour. Are those the units we want, or do we have to have that, because I'll have to go for a calculator I'm afraid. Do we want that just as a number, various options, then that'll be 108 pi, where are we? 1. 339, 339.3. 3. Three three nine point three centimeters cubed per hour. Yes, I know this wee negative still staying that way. Or would it be better just go to litres? That seems a more sensible one. It's a thousand cc's in a litre. So negative zero point zero. That's you're full of options. There, what about that? Litres per hour. Nope, just had a look here. It wants it in centimeters cubed per hour. So stick with that. Now, negative. It's negative because it's being lost from the tank. The water is draining from the tank, going to the vegetation. So the rate at which it's been delivered is going to be positive. 339, what we just call it, centimetres cubed per hour. Oh, let's put that wee squared back in there while we're at it.